Yo, ça qu'a fait, I'm Sammy Beats. Today, I'm going to show you how to create your first deep Ama Piano song demo. I will start by creating a top bass pattern, a drum, melodies, and after vibe on it to try to find a top top line. Let's have some fun. Like I told you, I'm gonna start with a nice bass pattern. The preset we're gonna use today is from Armless. It is the Liquid State to Gold. Sound like this. First, I'm gonna set my tempo to 113 and also activate the metronome. And now we can start record. I think I missed something. Okay. Nice. Now we're gonna combine it with other bass so it can sound T and then nice at the same time. Clone this one that we have. We have a plug bass that I have. If I go to my Amapiano preset, if I go to, I can load the plug bass. It says a plug when you combine it with this, it sounds nice. And now we're gonna add another one that's gonna bring more bottom to it. Just the gold sub, this one. It's basically a sub, so we can have more bottom to this one. Now that we have our base, I'm gonna drop some nice loop so I can start bring the vibe to it. So I'm um, let me use this one first. I'm gonna add another drum loop. Let me go to uh, Ama Piano again and then uh, go to drum loop let me use this shakers it sounds nice and i love it now i'm just gonna add this crash so i can let me drag this right here and then comment b so i have this okay i might use this one okay I click fit each hipster. I think I have a vibe. I think I have a vibe. Let me record it real quick. Normally, when I want to create a song, I just make sure I have my microphone connect to my audio interface and where it will record. Since I don't have my microphone, this is what I'm going to record the audio and then i'm gonna transfer it to fl studio and after i will we record them, them probably using a mic okay let's record For now, this is the idea that I have. I just recorded on my phone. Now I'm gonna add drop it to my MacBook and then I'm gonna import it into FL Studio and I'm gonna make sure to put it on time and then I can record it properly. Normally, I'm gonna do a second recording, maybe another one after, just to make sure I can. I add some vibe that I can choose and then create the vibe that I want for this instrumental, for this demo song. I'm gonna do that off camera because all of you know how to transfer a file from your smartphone to your computer and get back to it later. Guys, here is the recording that we are. Please don't laugh. <laughs> Guys, this is the initial idea that I have. Now I'm just going to try to record everything that I have now with a proper microphone so I can have a better quality. And then after I can send it to a songwriter and then he can write on the melody that I create on the top line. And then we can have someone to 
perform most of the time this is how big artists write songs like it is a nice process since you're gonna collab with a songwriter with a performer and that is very very interesting i think uh now i'm just going to try to record the same vibe and then get back to you later a few minutes later guys i will record the vocal and here is how they sound also remember it's a top line I think right here I'm going to remove the bass and add some log drum and also let's add analog lab 5 and also guys just so you know uh, let me let me just get the preset that I want first hmm, let, let's try this sound one let's go to see For the vocal, let me show you the process. I just add a uh, deeper metric EQ just to remove some of the low. Right, it's something real fast, and I add this wave tone real time just to tune the vocal and I have some reverb and then some delay. This is all I do for the vocal. Nice. And also, let insert insert one. Uh, let's call it kick it's gonna be our kick also add some sample for example this kick right click fill each first step I want to start with the kick like right away I think I need more again in my headphone let me add the wave ultra maximizer And also add citrus and then I'm going to use the lead machine something simple like that let's record that sample and then now we duplicate it like that, come and be. This is where I'm going to add those log drum. Um, maybe sell. Let me add this right there, and then we can um, make unique. And let's delete this first. Also, guys, I add those because I know I'm gonna use them. Cause I will need some impact just to to have those vibe, you know. For example. <laughs> Stop it, they will not 
I think now I'm going to focus more on the log drum and after I can focus on this extra drums sample and let me load the um float to the extent and I might use this and then now we can combine and clone this one and then we take the log vibe log vibe sorry the log vibe I need to follow this same uh, note that I play with this bass. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna add it right here. Let's put it in simpler. This one gonna be with this. And then we can take this one like that and then nice and then we can combine it with this right here and then we have the same note now we're gonna add another log jump preset one that bring this attack let me go with this one not this one let's try this one come and see come and view and then right there we can just something like that nice now we're gonna work more on this because okay now i think i have an idea i don't wanna lose it I had this idea since I start the beat. Something like that. Let me try to play it. Go again. Nice, I love it. That's nice, guys. Don't forget, we are creating a demo song, it's not something that is complete. That means is we will have some change, and also, I think I'm gonna create another log jump pattern for this part right here. I think now I'm going to make a little mixing to make sure that everything sounds nice, and also the gang sessions is properly done. And uh, yeah, after I'm gonna play the final vibe for you, enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's it, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, please tell me in the comment section if you like the demo we create today. If you have questions please leave a comment down below. See you guys in the next one.